Um, one of the most important things that you need to think about if you're, as a community, if you're getting ready to start doing work with your ponds, your preserves, your stormwater system, um, is the education part of it. And a lot of, if you're going to look for funds later on, um, or try to convince people, which sometimes is a little bit difficult to do about what you're doing, but the important part is the education. And what we did here in Stony Brook, long before we actually started any physical work in, in our uh, natural assets project, which is what we call it, um, we worked on the education part of it. We did newspaper articles in our little monthly news article, our news uh, newsletter. Um, we did uh, education seminars in the clubhouse, and, and even to this point now, we do little on-site nature tours where we invite the members to come out. We usually take about six to ten people, sometimes it's a little bit larger, and take them on a tour of these areas within the community, our preserves and our ponds, or looking at the animals, the plant life that has come back, to give, a, give them an idea of what it is that we're doing and also where all that hard-earned money is going, going to. Um, so it really works out if you let the people know what you're doing and get them to understand it before anything starts.